guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? ClickWid here, back with another Madden Mobile video. Today, I am going to be ripping a bunch of packs, trying to get some of the big Easter egg items that are currently in the game, as well as giving myself a chance at some Ultimate Legend players that were added today, guys. If you take a look, we do have the Bob Sanders and the Steve Hutchinson. There are limited editions of both Hutchinson and Bob Sanders on mobile, so we're going to be trying to pull those things. Now, what I decided to do, guys, when you go in here, you kind of have some opportunities to do some different things. So, first of all, you can, of course, open up the standard or pro packs that's always an option but you also have the opportunity to either open up easter packs or ultimate legend packs so the obviously the ultimate legend packs are 50,000 coins the easter packs are 75,000 coins so what i had to decide was whether i wanted to open up easter packs or ultimate legend packs so what i decided to do was kind of go in here and analyze and decide what i think is the better value now obviously you can read here what's actually contained in each of these things you guys got to let me know in the comment section below what do you think we should do regarding opening up these packs now uh, so basically here guys, obviously the ultimate legend packs guarantee you one gold or better ultimate legend player So basically always a gold ultimate legend player and those are essentially useless They're worth a couple thousand coins at the very most um, You do get an ultimate legend badge which you can take those and turn them into ultimate legend uh, Like player packs or item packs things like that But you know again still not a whole lot of value and then you've got the four gold or better players with the Easter packs, it's very similar. You do get the four gold or better players in the same way that you do with the Ultimate Legend packs, but you also guarantee yourself a gold or better Easter egg, or Easter player, excuse me, and 10 or more Easter items. So you have, a, in my opinion, a better chance with these packs of pulling something really, really good. So what I decided to do was open up 20 of these packs, or, or purchase 20 of them, I should say. So um, I, yeah, I actually have 20 of them already saved up in my binder, or 25 of them excuse me um so yeah we are definitely going to try and open those up today we've got the obviously the ton of quick sells that i have so there you have it guys uh 25 of the easter packs let's open these things up and hopefully we get something good here let's do this man all right we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on these we are going to go ahead and just kind of skip through them so we get a gold egg there whole bunch of the chocolate bunnies now the chocolate bunnies i believe that you need 20 of them and then you can turn them into a gold easter player so what i'm going to try and do here guys is uh get a bunch of these gold or a bunch of the gold players at least and then we can actually turn those into some upgrades as well potentially so uh even if we don't get anything great even if we're just pulling the easter bunnies that's not the end of the world so uh yeah let's continue to rip through here do get another gold egg there now obviously these open up on different days this one says 416 uh they're probably all gonna say 416 actually but um you know i don't know what's contained in them unfortunately i really have no idea but a whole bunch of gold players so far not really anything spectacular but we still do have that chance of pulling the ultimate legend players we just got an update team boys we just got an update team this could be it this could be the pull man let's go and we get, ah, well, it's a 95 overall. I shouldn't complain about it. It's a 95 overall elite Easter Linval Joseph. That is actually a pretty nice pull. I thought it might be an ultimate legend, but uh, still a very, very nice pull here. 95 overall. We also pulled a Blake Bortles 94 overall. Two elite Easter players in one pack, baby. Let's go. That is a beast ass pack. Let's go, man. Very, very, very nice. Those cards are worth a decent chunk right now. So I'm very, very happy about that. Hopefully, we can continue to pull some cards like that. That would be freaking great. We do get three eggs out of this one, so that's nice. Definitely, we'll take that. Now, the, the gold eggs typically are not going to contain anything super spectacular, but sometimes they'll contain something that's at least decent. So, let's see here. We get a Cody Kessler and a bunch of chocolate. Damn it. All right. Let's keep going here. Chocolate, basically, a euphemism for shit. I mean, let's be honest <laughs> <laughs> just joking guys just joking just joke kind of i'm kind of just joking all right come on baby let's go let's get something big damn three of the eggs i don't know how many of them i have right now i mean i definitely have a decent bunch of them so hopefully we can uh get something nice here and we do get it a keep to leave i saw that red paint thought it might be something better but it unfortunately wasn't that's all right still got some uh, a bunch of packs here though 
We definitely want that Steve Hutchinson or the Bob Sanders. That would be the best thing that we could get right now. Not having great luck in these last few packs, but we did have that, that pack with the two elite Easter players in it. That is a really nice pack. Gotta be honest with you, man. But uh, for the most part, we were getting mostly chocolate bunnies and a couple gold eggs here or there. Not really anything really great, unfortunately. Want some elite eggs or want something like really rare, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess elite players, I shouldn't really complain because those definitely have some serious value right now. All right, come on. Damn, man. These things are, these packs are not as good as I was hoping for. But then again, the ultimate legend packs aren't that much better either, to be honest with you. So, I don't know. Damn, bunch of uh, Easter eggs for the most part. Or the uh, chocolate bunnies, not really much even in the Easter egg category. Damn, look at all those chocolate bunnies. I don't know how many we're going to have, but at the end of this video, we should have enough to open up a bunch of the gold players, and that should be able to at least get us closer to getting some of the elites. And we do get a Kyle Long here, an unsung hero sidekick edition Kyle Long. Unfortunately, one of the lower overall ones, so really not a whole lot of value, but certainly something that we can use. We get three gold eggs out of this one, so that's nice, but uh, not... You know, again, those gold eggs are, are rarer than the chocolate bunnies, but they're still not super rare, unfortunately. Let's get some elites pulling in. Come on, Madden. Sheesh. This is crazy. Three gold eggs out of this one as well. Pretty much all of them look like they open up on 416. So uh, let's see here. We're down now to only eight packs. Hopefully we can pull one of these ones that are really rare. And still not anything really great out of them. But, uh, you know, again, we're still we're still happy with the two elite pulls that we already got. And we do get a Larry Fitzgerald base elite there. But, you know, obviously that's not going to have much value at this point in the game. So the nice thing is, is that you do also pull some of the elite or the, uh, the gold Easter players as well. So, you know, those can, of course, be put in. And uh, they can, of course, be put into sets to upgrade as well. So we do get a Bobby Massey here. Another one of those unsung hero sidekick edition cards. Another one that's probably not worth a lot because it's one of the lower all overall ones. What do we get here? One, two, three eggs. Four, five eggs in one pack. All right. I will take that. I will take that. Again, I, I have no idea what these are going to contain. I really have no idea. I'm, I'm imagining because they're not really rare. It's probably not going to be anything great. All right, down to our final five packs, guys. Hopefully, we can get something amazing out of these final ones. Really hoping for some more of those elite players. And we just have not gotten them lately, unfortunately, man. We got that one pack that had two of them, crazily enough. And since then, we've just been completely bare of getting any. Haven't gotten a single one since then. We randomly get an Ultimate Legend, but it's not one of the elites. It's a Donovan McNabb, so damn. Let's keep it rolling, though. Three more packs to go, guys. These might have not been the right decision. I don't know. But we do get an update team here, boys. We do get one. It's a 96 overall David Amerson Elite, guys. And, man, that is a nice pull to end this video, guys. We're getting down here toward the very, very end. Very nice. Two more packs to go. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling in here, guys. Damn, missed it. And the final one. Final pack, guys. And we get anything out of it. We do not, unfortunately. But that was a pretty nice pack opening video overall. We did get a couple of the elites. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you drop a like. And of course, also make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hopefully you have some great luck. And hopefully there's some beast stuff in these eggs as well. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you all again soon.